and welcome back to Alex Go Sailing. You can tell, I'm not where I usually am. We're currently in Mercury Marina. I actually motored all the way here from uh, Hailing Island and that's where I actually got on Mingale. Uh, didn't really film the sail over, sail over, because I was motoring, just choppy seas, 20 knots of wind. Nothing too exciting, just sat there plodding along with autopilot on, so today's gonna be a good day. We're gonna get hit out to Osborne Bay, do a bit of sailing. Got a bunch of other trailer sailor boats here. So the Astus, we got Hein on the BTC 22. And then there'll be a rib joining us, so maybe some others. So we're gonna head over to the Folly tonight though. Hopefully we get some good sailing in. I'm hoping the wind picks up a bit more. It does look like it's filling in, so we'll actually be able to get some sailing done because uh, I want to test this boat out. But the jobs for this morning are, I've got to run the sheet lines. I'm also going to change that rope that snapped on the last sail because uh, I don't trust it very much. Um, but once I've run these, uh, I'm going to stick out the sprit and we're going to put the screecher up because it's a light wind day. So we're going to want the screecher. Inside is tidy for once, I'm surprised. So not much work down there, but you can see the screecher up the front. Um, I'll probably open up the front hatch and just hoist it up. No, I'm going to touch it, I'm going to touch it, I'm going to touch it. Oh, I touched it! Now, I did a little dinghy run to the next marina over to pick up my crew for the weekend. Uh, Joe, you've seen him before in a previous episode with Merakai. But he also helped me set up the screecher on board Mingale. Um, it's quite a simple process. Run the sheets all the way around the outside of everything on the boat. Pop out the bowsprit and then hoist the screecher. Um, with one of the halyards on the mast and then you can attach that to the bow sprit and then make sure the sheets are attached as well and make sure the lines are nice and tidy and then we are good to go it's definitely a bit easier doing it at the dock than out on the water right we're gonna go sailing joe's gonna hoist the main Hang on. how is it winch Yeah, I'll do. Yeah. Lock her off. We can hold this course pretty well. How are we doing? Still the engine? Can that lift out? Yeah. For drag? Yeah. Does that still connect? Does that get disconnected then? Or? You jiggle it a bit. Dump it off. So Alex, how's it feeling? GoPro, GoPro interview. How are you feeling going out to the Isle of Wight on your new boat? What's your new boat called? Mingale. Mingale. Is this the announcement? No. No, okay. It's not the first video. It's harder to do this than I thought because I need to look where I'm going, but obviously the, the camera goes, <laughs> I c you know, I can't really uh, double up here. Order. Five knots at a minute. Haven't tripped nothing. And wind's like eight to 10 knots, maybe. Feels good going through the water. You'll, you'll notice it, I like pick up speed. Feel the vessels, you make your own wind. It feels like it's going like a freight train. I think once we get past Cal Shot Spit, the wind will feel in a little bit more yeah. and we'll have uh, a bit more breeze pushing us along. So, have you told anyone about your new sail? Yeah. Oh. Let's see it all. You're late to the game. Well, I've not seen the videos, have I? I haven't even uploaded it. Have they even been downloaded? Yeah. <laughs> Big F for Merakai. Yeah. This is the line. Sounds good. It's nice to know that the furling system works with the um, screech on there. Yeah. Nice and great experience. The sheet still run nice, it doesn't interfere too much. Bit of breeze coming in. There we go. Feel the acceleration. Ah! The speed! <laughs> oh, she's going. Yes. 
It's quite satisfying overtaking these Gin Palace boats, isn't it? Oh yeah. About your leech life. Yeah. Should get a little bit less drag. Do you know what? 6.1. Nothing better really, is it? It's free thick. Not through. Shortly. We'll get up a bit higher, then we'll screech across the uh, bay. It's rammed over there. What? It's absolutely rammed. It is, isn't it? Yeah, that's why we're going down a little bit to the beach. Not in the busy bit. 6.4. You think he's flaming? <laughs> it's the first time it's ever flamed. <laughs> Seven point two knots. I saw. Right, shall we send it? Well, I'll put it in the Genoa and I'll turn down a bit. All right. Well, I'll ease it up away from the wind a bit. You can pass me the red one. I'll, I'll feed it through. All right. Give it a couple turns. Where did you make this off? Just here. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Yeah, ready when you are. Let's go. <sighs> Still doing six knots across the wind and basically no wind. We're going fast, well we were going fast, we're going six knots now. So, the screech is doing its job. E Who's behind the camera? Hi. <laughs> My name is Joe. My name is Joe. We're out sailing with Alex today, which is nice, on his uh, new, new boat. Flying along, he's very pleased with himself. Very so. pleased with myself. So uh, I thought I'd uh, come out and try trailer sailors. I've got a boat in the marina, which uh, Alex obviously uh, despises because he can't, he can't go anywhere. But you could get it on a trailer if I had one and a car that was big enough, but I don't. So a bit top heavy. It'd be very top heavy. <laughs> the Germans know what they're doing when they built the Golf. Well, not that much. <laughs> This is like unravelling the mystery of the universe while drunk. Still doing three knots of just the main downwind. Like dead downwind. That's very, it's very good. As you can tell, Alex is very happy with the performance of the Telstar. For your viewing pleasure, he is going to um, dive headfirst into the water. Going down. Meow. 
now. Go sailing viewers may remember me uh, from a particular video he posted of me trying and failing to gracefully board my old boat at down at Hearst Castle. Um, it was uh, probably as graceful as I could be, but uh, as Alex tells me when, well, as Alex told me when we got onto the boat earlier, it's uh, probably not my most um, graceful skill. There's no jellyfish. There. No, I don't see any. What are you on about? That's just seaweed. Don't think about it, just do it. Just do it. I've been thinking about it while you've been faffing around with the Don't drone. think about it, just do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> you chicken. Think how hot it is and how refreshing it's going to be. Send it. Oh, there's a jellyfish there as well. No, don't see any. Send it. All leave in the comments what rating this is out of 10. Let me just acclimatise myself. No, 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 you don't ease in, you've got to jump. <laughs> no, jump. Is there any one way to do it? This is going to be the longest video I've ever filmed. It does look nice, right. It looks lovely. Go. You're going to start screaming like a little girl. Hey. <laughs> is it cold? It's freezing. <laughs> This is going to be the slowest docking you've ever seen in your entire life. Go as fast as you want to hit something. Six knots, send it. <laughs> this is the slowest creek crawl ever. You cheat though, don't you, with your outboard? Because you've just got ultimate control. No, it's not that good because I can't pivot as well. Because it, it doesn't go lock to lock very well. Only one direction it goes well, lock to lock. One direction? I think I need to just... I can adjust it, put it on a different hole, and it'll turn faster, or, or more, rather. Nailed it. He said shuffle up to the back of that one. Did he? Yeah. If I if we get it far enough I can clean it off to this one. You're almost in front of the sting so That'd be alright. I'll clean it off to this one here. Yeah, got it. Now that we had Mingle safely docked up opposite the folly, uh, we helped the other few boats in and then we all headed to the folly for dinner and drinks. You'll join me in the next episode where we're going to dart back across the Solent and see what kind of speeds we can get there. It's a bit more of a windy one, so I look forward to seeing you then. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>